guys welcome back so this is gonna be a quick quick video I've been getting so many questions about my hair and the latest two hair wigs that I've been using I'm sick I'm a little stuffed up and I'm running out of daytime so I'm gonna speak really fast because I really don't feel like pulling out my lights I just kind of want to go to bed but anyway I'm gonna be talking about RPG show units are they worth the price are they worth the $400, $500, $600 that they are selling for. I know this is like one of the top wig companies. All these YouTube gurus rave about them and um, some of us just don't really have that kind of money to spend and if we do we really want to make sure that we're getting our money's worth. So anyway, I'm not going to do reviews for these wigs. I have two of them. I'm just going to give you guys links to the two reviews that have already been done by the gurus I got these from. One from Philly's Jam Poet right here and the other one from African Export. I believe the one from Philly's Jam Poet is Roxy from R RPG Show and then the other one is the Kim Kardashian unit which was customized for um, African export with the 99J and what I did was dye it all black so it looks or fits more me. But anyway, you can check out all the specs for the, the wigs over there. And I'm just going to talk about my experience quickly with them. I'm going to start with the Roxy wig. I did, uh, I did some nonsense on this wig, guys, to be honest. I wanted ombre, and when I got this wig, it was too big for me in the cap. And you can't return them, which is fine with me. But I was like, I'm sorry, I paid, what did I pay? I think I paid like $175 for the Roxy one, and I paid $125 for this one, which was from African Export plus shipping. So that to me is a lot better than paying $400 that they have on the website or more. So that's crazy to me. But anyway, I got the chance to sample these. And just as a little tip, you guys keep your eyes on these gurus who get a lot of wigs. Keep an eye on for like their blogs and, their, and stuff like that or their Facebook pages because they usually have blog sales. And you could probably get a good quality wig which is very lightly used. At least that's my opinion. But anyway, moving on, Roxy wig. I did a lot of gymnastics to this wig. The first thing I did was I noticed that the wig from her, from the company rather, since it was cut in a Roxy way, like the bang was cut unevenly. So I was, it just didn't fit my head properly. So one side was longer than the other side. So what I had to do was just make the part in such a way that when I put it on it's even on the bottom for both sides and then the second thing I did was I actually had to take out cut out a bunch of hair from the side I'll probably have like videos here displaying this but I had to literally take my razor and like trim out a lot of it because there was so much bulk on one side and not on the other so I made that work and then on top of that the cap was huge so what I did was I actually cut the cap and sewed it back together. I measured it out. Look look at this mess, guys. Look at this. But I was like, no, I'm going to get my worth out of this wig. I'm going to wear it. So that's what I did. <laughs> it's like ghetto-ness, but I don't care. This is what happened, and I've experienced absolutely no shedding. I just sewed it like you would sew, you know, sew anything. And it has adjustable straps. Um, the comb on the side actually is loose, so I'm going to have to replace or sew it back on and I always take the middle comb out so that's what that looks like I'll probably have something here showing you guys what the wig looks like on me and if you want to see more details about this this is the wig that I did an ombre on I have a video about it I will link it somewhere here as well I did the bleach and um, I did a little darker color at the top Check out the ombre video if you want to know more details about this wig final thoughts about this Roxy wig I loved it. Um, it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. I think the texture is a little thicker than I thought it was going to be. And this is supposed to be silky, so I don't know. It wasn't like my favorite wig. I wouldn't say I liked this wig more than my Platinum Wigs wig. But before you start getting ideas, this wig from... Um, the, which is the Kim Kardashian wig, which is supposed to be equally as silky. This is probably the best wig I've ever had, like hands down. It is full lace as well. I will put pictures or video over here showing you guys the inside of the wig. Full lace, it had the combs in it, and it came in tip-top shape. Like this one I had to do nothing with. 
the cap fit me perfectly and the only thing that was wrong with this wig was the red streaks which you see in African exports video all I did was I went out bought some dark dark dye and dyed the heck out of it I got like two boxes and I got like a chocolate brown and a very dark brown and I just went to town put the dye on it took the dye really well which means it's really good quality hair and this is what I'm left with. Actually, with the dye, unfortunately, since it was dark dye, it ended up dyeing the bleached knots. So my hair is not, like, the the knots aren't bleached per se anymore. I just use a lighter wig cap underneath. Um, I'm too lazy to actually go back and bleach it again. It, usually I just put some foundation on my head and I'm good to go. But as far as this particular unit, I'm in love, guys. It doesn't really hold a curl very well, I've noticed. This was actually from my curling wand I used my curling wand to to achieve curls and then in like two days it had fallen into this but then this is what I was left with and I've had this for like a couple days now and it just looks like this I love it even when it's kind of you guys know how when you have a wig and the hair is kind of dirty and you haven't washed it in like two weeks it becomes all stiff even when it's dirty and stiff it doesn't look it like this I haven't washed this in like two weeks Seriously, and I, and I have a bad habit of running my hands through my hair, so this is really good, guys. I am definitely impressed. Will I spend $400? Um, I don't know yet, but I have to say that the quality of this particular wig is impeccable, and because I had two different experiences with these wigs, it leads me to just, or it just confirms the fact that each wig is different. Um, people make these, and I don't even know if these are actual, actual human hair, but it's kind of a gamble when you go with companies. But I have to say this one is perfect. Like the best texture, the best wig I've ever had. It's it's just amazing. I love it. And on top of that, I have experienced absolutely no shedding. And that might have to do with the fact that it is a full lace wig and not a lace front. Because usually I do lace fronts and stuff. But I absolutely love this, guys. Um, this one would be worth it because I feel like I could see myself wearing this for a long time and it wouldn't get damaged and even with the color I didn't notice any dryness didn't notice anything horrible happening to this wig so I'm really excited about that guys I'm quite pleased with this wig yeah I don't know what else to say as far as this unit is concerned I would definitely say it's worth it because I feel like it would last me a very long time and it looks amazing um, this one not so much but again you know it's still a gamble when you work with wig companies but I think the fact that RPG show is more open to working with you as a customer is a very good thing and as long as you get the wigs from them and you don't cut the lace you can contact them back and say you're not happy with it and send it back and um, that's definitely a plus but anyway I hope this has answered some of your questions. This is the unit I'm using or wearing in this video and my couple previous videos. So if you guys have any more questions, please let me know. I hope I gave you enough information. Maybe I'm not thinking clearly. I'm going back to bed, guys. My cold is not it. <laughs> so anyway, follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you haven't already. And check out my blog. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.